Hello there, how you doing? Today is officially green day because I've got all greens right here. I had some greens for lunch as well. Today is, today is a very green day, that's for sure. One of the colours at the place I work is green, so there's a clue as to where I work. But anyway, yes, 7 out of 7, 100%. It's, it's not 9, it's, it's obviously a, there was buy, it's a buy round for some teams, but still, 100%. Not bad. I'm going to record this next, probably predictions, and I got all greens there as well. So it's it truly is. It truly is a green day. This website should change to green just for me. Anyway, yeah, Port Adelaide, Richmond. Um, I really thought I tipped the Lions. For some reason, I thought I tipped, I tipped the Lions. I don't know why I thought that. I thought I got that wrong, but I, I was surprised to see this because I, I I literally thought I tipped the Lions. It's a good thing I didn't though. Anyway, yeah. Uh, Geelong, uh, Melbourne, obviously, Collingwood, St Kilda, and the Giants. Not too bad. I'm going to react to this, by the way. I've seen the score already. I, I accidentally checked it in the morning. Accidentally. But since it was such a close game, I thought, let's just react to, uh, react to it and see what happened in the game. But I, was, I kind of spoiled myself, unfortunately. I'm still going to react to it, though. So that's coming up at the same time as this video. Anyway, yeah. Um, let's, let, let's check the comp. I was second, and then joint second last week. Where am I now? Where am I? I'm still second. I'm still second. This guy clearly had a good lead, considering he got five this week and he's still top. 63 points. I'm on 62. Wow. I'm still telling you. I told you two rounds ago this won't last. I'm still telling you right now. This won't last. I will end around here. I guarantee you, this is, this is not going to last. Having said that, I'm doing well so far. I said my target was 100. There's 38 left from, from seven rounds. It, it's possible. It's possible. Well, the next round's a buy round as well, so less games to get the tips. But we're still, seven out of seven is elite. On to round 11. Um, Port v Richmond. Richmond last week got underestimated and they beat the Lions. I think last year as well, um, it was higher for Port in this game and Richmond won the game. Tom Lynch on fire. I reckon it'll be a close game, for sure. I want to go for Richmond because they seem to be back now. They seem to be back and playing well. Port have been playing very well though. But they are beatable. They've lost twice. So it's possible. I think it could go either way. I'm gonna go for ports. I'm gonna try my luck, go for ports. Ports by five. I'm convinced this will be close. I think this will be a this will definitely be a close one. If it's a blowout, I apologize for jinxing it. Brisbane with Western Bulldogs. Have they got injuries or something? Why why they, why is it only five percent? <laughs> did, did they win this didn't they win this game last year? I think think it was Bulldogs, I don't I can't remember. But still. I think I think I thought I'd have a better chance than than uh, you know than that. Then again, it is Brisbane at the Gabba, and they are playing well. They did just lose, but they are playing well. I think they'll definitely be finals and probably top four again. We'll see what happens. It's still a long way to go, uh, but they're looking good. I'm going to go for Brisbane. I'm going to go for Brisbane. Yeah, West Coast I think will beat Carlton, especially at Optus Stadium. Adelaide Oval. Melbourne v North Melbourne. I'm glad. The last two years, I think, I had to wait till round 23 to see this game. It's a very exciting game. I like the rivalry. Why have I got to wait 23 rounds? At least we're getting in round, in round 11 now. That's, that's nice. Anyway, um, I wouldn't write North off. I would not write them off in this game. Melbourne have been quite up and down. Serve North. I would not rule North out. I might go for them. Go for an underdog. I don't know. I'll leave that for now. St. Kilda V Geelong. Oh, that is a big test for the Saints. They're second. They've marched into second. The team is elite. Absolutely elite. I told you they would do well. <laughs> I predicted it. But anyway, um, can they beat Geelong? 
It's at the Gabra as well, so completely neutral. Nah, Ge Ge Geelong are strong. I didn't mean to rhyme, but that rhymes. Uh, I'm gonna say Geelong. But it could be quite a good game. But I'm gonna say Geelong, uh, they have a lot of power and uh, I think they'll win that game. Fremantle v Hawthorne. Oh dear. <laughs> this should be interesting. I kind of want to back my own team, but 3 are at home in Optus Stadium. Could benefit them, that's for sure. Obviously it's a bit different now considering, uh, you know, the travel arrangements are a bit different, but still, they're still at home. Um, I might go for 3 -0. I'm not sure about this, you know. I feel like it's a game that we could win. But then again, it's a game that we could lose. We're all for as well. <laughs> Every game is a game we could win or lose. We're unpredictable sometimes. Uh, Frio. Collingwood in this one. Adelaide on... 4% of people have tipped Adelaide so far. 5% for the dogs and cars. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they got the uh, Adelaide got the hardest game as well. Actually, no, Brisbane away is tough. Never mind. I ignore me. West Coast away is tough as well. That, what are you talking about, David? J just, I'm, I'm stupid. Essendon, twenty-five percent. Okay, okay. Well, all I'm saying is, I'm liking Gold Coast a bit more now. They've grown on me. I did not used to like them, but this season they've grown on me a bit. They're playing well. Even if they lose, they're playing well. They're coming close to winning, but they're not winning. And when you don't win for multiple weeks, despite, despite what you're for, how well you're playing, that can have an effect and you could keep losing. A bit like Carlson last year for most of the season. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go on that logic and say that Essendon win this game. Then again, Essendon are the type of team that would lose this game. But still, I'm, I'm going to say Essendon to beat Gold Coast. For sure. If not, okay, yeah, let, let me just do that. <laughs> Melbourne v North. Um, do I take a risk of North? Oh, by the way, August 9th, my birthday. So, yeah, Hawthorne playing the day after my birthday, so they can't ruin my birthday, that's great. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm going to go North Melbourne. I'm not sure about it. I wouldn't be sure either way to be honest because I think this could be in one of those games. I'm going to go for North. I'm taking a few risks, at least it feels like it anyway. Um, this also could, could go either way. I'm going to go for, I'm going to stick with Port. Port Adelaide by 5, Brisbane, West Coast, North Melbourne. Not 100% sure on this but we'll see. I think hopefully these two happen. But if these two were the other way around I would not be surprised. I think this will happen. This one I'm not sure on. I'm going to go for North though. Uh, this one could go differently, but I think Geelong will win this one. This one could go differently. If it does, that's great, because then my team wins. But I got a feeling that three will win it. Um, that one I'm sure of. So th that's two tips. Collingwood and West Coast, they're getting me tips. They're getting me points, 100%. Not points, but you, you know what I meant. Essendon, I think, could definitely win the game. Um, but if Gold Coast win, I would not be surprised. I'm going to stick with Essendon, just based on the fact that they're losing more now. I'm going to say that the losing streak continues, and they lose by like a few points. But we'll, but we'll see. We'll see. So yeah, those are my tips. Yeah, so Essendon, Collingwood, Rio, Geelong, North Melbourne, West Coast, Brisbane, and Port Adelaide by five. Who's got the most tips? 69. Two people have got 69. Wow. Average per round, 6 point. What, what's my average? Hang on. 6.2. If I can keep it at 6.2, I think I can uh, get 100 tips. Maybe. I guess it depends. We'll, we'll see. If, if I get 7 the next 3 weeks, then that's 83. Might happen. Anyway, yeah, this is your boy Davidoff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and see ya.